When we confront a racist joke or a racist comment, it's important that we do so in a way that doesn't ignite racist ideologies further. Show respect to the person behind the racist jokes. Show respect to the person behind the racist comments because at the end of the day, like how fires can't be extinguished with more fire, racism can't be extinguished with hate because it feeds off it. There is so much misinformation. The easiest way to begin that process of changing how someone views the world is actually to have a conversation. People who come to an interaction with prejudiced ideas are coming from a place of ignorance. They haven't learned about the culture that they're prejudiced against or they don't know very much and so they're coming into that space without much understanding. From full immersion to do Māori schooling, I went to King's, um, which was a very different experience. Um, I fielded a lot of questions about um, Māori uh, gravy trains and, and things about my family being criminals. I heard some really horrible things from some of these kids um, that I boarded with. But when I met their parents, um, I saw straight away where their views came from. So um, I invited some of them to my marae by meeting my family, by meeting um, people in my community, they changed. This whole journey of talking about racism in New Zealand on a public platform started with um, personally experiencing racism and filming it because for so many people they didn't think that something like that could happen in New Zealand. It's still something that I think a lot of New Zealanders struggle with because it's not their lived experience of what it means to be a New Zealander, where for so many minority communities here, it is our lived experience of being New Zealanders. We are living in a multicultural society in New Zealand. Some people keep saying that 51 Muslims got killed in Christchurch. No doubt, they all were a believer of Muslim faith, but before that, they were the New Zealanders. We decided whether we want to teach our children, our tamariki, to play with that one kid that's darker than them or that one kid that's lighter than them. We decide whether we love or hate the different cultures we surround ourselves with. We decide.